Hey guys, welcome to this video. Today we're going to be talking about the case of Brittany Robinson whilst I do a painting of Tate Langdon. Hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe down below for more. Brittany Shante Robinson was 14 years old and lived in Mobile, Alabama. She is described as a true southern young lady, kind and intelligent with a love for seafood boils, barbecue and more than anything, her family. Her warm and friendly personality led her to befriend everyone she met. Those who knew her portrayed her as shy but outspoken. She stood firm on her beliefs and would not back down. Tiana Hoag, Brittany's mother, recalled Brittany's principal commenting that she had a smile that would light up the halls, and all her teachers adored her. She cared deeply for her family, especially her mother and grandmother. Tiana would call Brittany her little nurse, as she was always reminding her to take her medication at the right times and which one she needed to take. Tiana also said, quote, She loved to read. When I say loved to read, her face was always planted in a book. She always excelled three or more levels above her grade in reading. She said, quote, she also enjoyed drawing, running, and her favourite colours were pink and blue. And there was also a silly side to Brittany, one that was always laughing and always smiling. On the morning of June 14, 2012, Gianna took Brittany to her maternal grandmother's home to wait for her aunt to collect her to go away for a weekend visit with her father, Demetric Cooper. Gianna said, quote, She walked out the door, came back in and gave me a hug and said I'll see you later. She was supposed to be gone for two days and I haven't seen her since. Initially, Tiana didn't think anything was wrong because of course it was her father. But as a couple more days went by, she began to worry more and more. Demetric, Brittany's father, then texted Tiana to let her know Brittany would be home in an hour but three and a half hours later, she still did not return. Tiana attempted to call Demetric, but instead of answering, he apparently responded with another text, saying they were at a wedding party and would be back shortly. Demetric then completely stopped communicating with Tiana and Brittany was still not returned home. Tiana began to feel growingly concerned and frantic for Brittany's safety. Why wasn't she home? Why did Demetric keep saying different things? Why has Demetric all of a sudden stopped responding? After making several calls to Demetric's family and no lead on Brittany's whereabouts, Tiana, Demetric's landlord, and the Alabama Mobile County Sheriff's Office went to Demetric's home only to find nobody was in, and there was no evidence of Brittany even being there. Tiana immediately filed a missing persons report with Alabama Mobile Police Department. She said, quote, I thought I could trust him regarding her. Never in a million years would I think this would be my situation. Tiana then discovered that Demetric had actually been implicated on a similar case of abduction of one of his other children in 2004. Later, on July 26, 2012, Demetric was issued an arrest warrant for a Class C felony charge of custodial interference. Soon after, an unidentified male contacted authorities and asserted that he had taken a bus with Demetric from Mississippi to Tennessee. He wasn't sure where he had gone after this since they changed buses, but recalled Demetric saying about going to Arkansas. A little over a month later, U.S. Marshals located Demetric at a research facility in Arkansas and arrested him, but he did not go willingly. Later in court, to determine whether bail was appropriate, prosecutors stated at the time of his arrest, Demetric was being paid to take schizophrenia medication, had a troubled mental history, and had been extremely violent with officers when he resisted arrest and when officers attempted to extradite him from Arkansas. Investigators also claimed at the time of his arrest, Demetric had Britney's pink iPod, a rope, 
and multiple knives in his possession. But of course, there was still no sign of Brittany. Demetrius still denied any involvement in his daughter's disappearance. A grand jury indicted Demetrius on the Class C felony, to which in 2014 Demetrius pled guilty. Instead of going to trial, he received a 10 year sentence for custodial interference, but was released in December 2016 after serving only four of his 10 years. However, in December 2023, Demetrius was arrested in Oklahoma on charges of burglary and assault with a dangerous weapon. This year, February 2024, still in custody in Oklahoma, Demetrius was indicted for his daughter's murder after around seven years of roaming free. Authorities haven't said anything about what evidence they have against him, but stated the passage of time indicated Brittany was no longer alive. Due to the circumstances of her case, foul play is suspected. Hopefully we will get some answers as to what may have happened to Brittany and why. Although it will never ever be justice enough, hopefully her family will finally have some closure. Any updates to this case I will either put in the description or pin to the comment section. Thank you all so much for watching, if you enjoyed don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe down below for more videos like these.